Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is a little bit of a different one. I haven't done this style or type of video like for a really long time. Um, so it's long overdue. I've changed my desk a little bit. I only have one of the chests of drawers now, whereas I used to have two. And I've also changed the walls because I've took all of my polishes and stuff off the walls because I am prepping this, like my stuff basically, ready to move to my new house. It's not happening anytime soon like it'll be in a couple of months yet because i'm having a conservatory built but when it does happen i will film the whole process but for now i'm just sorting things out while they're in this room that should be easier to carry over to the new place um so at the moment i've got a lot less stuff so well i'm not a lot less stuff but i've condensed it into um less space basically so these five are full i obviously still use my cart and then these drawers here are full and then the tall ones are empty and this is also empty so i'm going to show you what's in my drawers because like i said haven't done a video like this for ages i just need to make my chair go down a bit and to get down to the lower ones and i'm just going to pop my light over the drawers as well so you can see better so we'll start at the bottom and work my way up so at the bottom down here i've got my brill bird glamour gels down here and then i've got all my stamping plates and um, these ones in the packaging not packet is it packet does it that one's packaging i don't know but these ones in the the sleeves that's what they're called um they're all moira and then all my little plates and my non moira plates are back here um and then i've got all my stamping polishes which there isn't many but i don't need any more than that i only really use these ones anyway stampers scrapers stamping polish um swatches so clients can see what colors they are compared to my swatches of gel so that's the stamping and glamour gel drawer and then next up from that is like a decals stickers foils drawer these are actually wax strips because i cut these up as limp pads um but i've got like just random it's as well like eyeshadow applicators for chromes and stuff i've got some cotton pads i've got my display things that i use for creating videos on display tips this is my um collection of foils let's just move the light so you can see better oh i just knocked my bottle over but never mind um yeah so here's my collection of foils obviously i'm not going to show you every single foil because we'll be here forever but just a quick glance at them all that's those i've condensed that down a lot and put a lot in to be in the next giveaway um just because i don't need the sheer amount that i had it was ridiculous and then we've got two of these larger um they've obviously fallen out of the back of something and i need to put them back in but two of the larger ones they're full of decals and then i've got this one is full of stickers that one is stuff like um mesh and angel paper stuff like that and then more stickers here and then more decals in here and then they're just leftover foils that i can't fit in the folder there's too many in there so that's that drawer and then next one up we've got gels so i've got all my gel box uk gels in here obviously these front rows here are all them and then in here i've got my spare builder gels top coats base coats um i keep the ones that i use all the time on my um on my cart so there's quite a few on there but these are just like extras so i've got a couple of blush i've got a clear i'm waiting on a lot of orders as well i've got two apricots two nudes i think this is a base yeah and then a base um so they're all spares and then i've got some on the way and then we've got my very few gel obsession bottles of gel in here um from when they sent me some a while ago and i've got my magpie dusts not dusts um flakes in here i kept all of those when i sold all my magpie stuff and then i've got my magpie gel paints back there which i really don't use as often to be honest because i mainly just paint with gel polish now um and then i've got all my gel perfection gel polishes in here i've just popped one of these um a couple of these drawer divider things um behind them just stop them going too far forward so i don't lose them um and i've got two drawers worth of gel perfection 
gels just sort that out make them nice and neat so these are the ones that are obviously on the wall suddenly looks a lot less now they're not on the wall which is really strange even though the exact same amount is still there um so that's the drawers that are attached to my desk i'm now going to take you over to the ones that are down here i'm just going to put my flash on now for this side because obviously um i don't have a light over here so top drawer is all sparkle supplies uk glitters i mean just how satisfying is that view? Seriously. <laughs> lots of sparkles, lots of different colours, different types of glitter, like just beautiful. And then I've got another drawer of sparkle supplies, glitters. Um, they're on the spice racks from IKEA. So that's those all looking very sparkly as well. And then third row down, we've got more glitter shock. Um, so we've got half and half in here. We've got half tea as beauty, which is all of these. These here are all glitters. These down here are dusts and the Aurora chrome. So absolutely stunning. I love them. Um, and then I've got a couple of different types of flakes as well. We've got firecracker ones and we've got autumn fall. Um, and then over here, we've got more flakes um we've got gold fuchsia red copper and then we've got some leaf some green flakes and then we've got all of the chromes as well like the normal metallic chromes we've got some swatches back there some stuff down here that i just never really use but sometimes i do so i've kept there some overspill of sparkle Spies uk glitters and then in here we've got all the other stuff from um, from tia's beauty so the shapes in here um pigments mylar and then there's shards that are all back there as you can see in that one there and then down here we've got all of my blue sky gels which to be honest i don't have swatched um for clients to like sort of pick from but i just know what i've got so if a client shows me a picture or something i know that one of my blue sky gels will match better than my gel perfection um i'll just get them out instead and then obviously i do have the cat size and color changers in uh, the blue sky colors as well so i keep those for that as well and also blossom gels got a couple of madame glam down there as well and then next one is just completely random stuff that i just needed space for but don't really reach for that much so it can go at the bottom um so we've got forms we've got a bit of acrylic even though i don't use acrylic anymore but you never know when you're going to need a bit of acrylic um these are for things when i've done like mother's day boxes and stuff like that um just to fill the boxes to make them look cuter and things and i do pop some of this sort of stuff in the giveaways as well just to make it look cute uh, and then last but not least we've got this drawer here which has got my full-on tips and my extensions underneath from nail order i've got all my shapes and crystals at the back that again i don't really reach for but i have to have them just in case anyone ever wants them i bought these bags ages ago back in like literally lockdown like years ago to put my foils in and it was a pack of something ridiculous like a thousand and obviously i've got nowhere near that many um and then these are the gels that go with the extensions kit I've got all my spare nail art brushes and then i've got ink london hard gels down here again just like the acrylic i don't use them anymore but you never know and yeah, the rest of the room still pr looks pretty much the same. Obviously, the walls are bare. Um, my swatches of gel colours are still over here. And that is it. I've obviously just knocked my water over and forgot to pick it up. So that's leaking. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you updated when I end up moving everything to the new house. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.